Hey guys, I just saw this pop up on my timeline and I figured I'd make number one an informative video on it and kind of explain how you get go and actually get it. And number two, kind of give my thoughts on it, my random hot takes. So first of all, um, let me go into actually what it is, how you get it, how you do it. And then I'll kind of give my opinion at the end, just in case you're more curious on how you actually access it yourself. So I saw this pop up uh, and basically streamers are baffled by the new Twitch option to buy affiliate status. So now on Twitch, you can literally go and buy affiliate status. You don't need to have the followers, don't need to have the watch time, don't need to go and have the concurrent viewership or any of that stuff. You don't have to have any more. Uh, now with Monster Cat Gold, you're able to go and actually just fast track and get through it. So you guys can kind of see my first initial thoughts where I'm like, wait, what the heck? I'll get into that. I'll get into the hot take. But I actually overall think it's kind of a cool idea. And I think it's good and think people should go and take advantage of it if it's available. So going through the actual Kotaku article, it basically says Monster Cat outlined the new program and a post on his website today, which we'll show in a second. If streamers subscribe to Monster Cat Gold for $5 per month, they now gain access to not only a library of songs they can play during the streams, which is good uh, for all the people with the DMCA issues. I think that's good. Uh, it's a lot of music you're going to use. A lot of EDM, but still good. But also you get to go and have Twitch affiliate status. So if you guys don't know, Twitch affiliate is basically like the very, very first tier of being a Twitch streamer. You can get subs, you can get bits. Uh, in this article, it doesn't say it, but you can also run subscription, uh, run ads. Uh, you can get subscriptions, you get Twitch emotes. Basically, it's cool. You're essentially everything a Twitch partner can have, which is losing a few different, like you don't have the necessary some things yet. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, basically, you have all the necessary things to go be a Twitch streamer. And you can kind of basically have quality options and stuff, which I'll get into that later on in the hot take. But yeah, it's kind of cool. You have a chance just to go and bypass it before you need to have 50 followers, 500 total minutes broadcast, an average of three or more concurrent viewers, and streaming on at least seven different days. It's kind of easy to go get, so that, that's kind of why it's not the worst thing that it's offered. Uh, but I do kind of feel like a lot of people worked really hard to go to get affiliate, especially if you're brand new to content creation, like your number, like you've just never done it before. Uh, but like I said, hot take later on. And apparently there were also was a similar program launched on Twitch with SoundCloud earlier on, which I think is very cool, uh, which allowed SoundCloud subscribers to go get fast track to affiliates. Basically, if you're a musician and you have a SoundCloud following, you can basically get Twitch affiliate really easy. Uh, but this was more niche and more focused on a specific niche group, aka music, rather than everyone. So if you guys want to actually have a chance to access it, go to monstercat.com slash gold or Google it. You can see on the very top of the page, Monster Cat Gold X Twitch. You go press on the learn more. And then basically it goes into this page right here. Get paid to build your fan base with Monster Cat Gold. Monster Cat partners with Twitch to fast track your affiliate status. What we kind of just went over. Uh, so you guys can see on the website, you basically just go to the actual website itself. Join Monster Cat Gold. Or uh, if you just want to learn more, you can see all this stuff. And yeah, it basically kind of is explaining on the website what it is. It's an individual music licensing subscription, which lets, lets you just kind of go and play and use the music at any point you want. And yeah, it's kind of cool. It is a nice program. I actually do recommend Monster Cat Gold if you are a Twitch streamer or want to be a Twitch streamer. It gives you access to a lot of different music. So then you basically go to join Monster Cat Gold. You go through the whole process. You sign up all your email, password, all this stuff. Go pay for it and kind of go from there. So that's just how you kind of do it. Uh, kind of letting you guys know about the information that you can become a free, quote unquote, free Twitch affiliate by going through this process and avoiding everything else. So uh, in case you guys are just curious on that aspect of the video, go do it. I recommend it. Uh, if you are a, or a Twitch affiliate, of course, like I said, you have a chance to get subscriptions, Amazon Prime subs. You can run ads. It's not that much, but if you, it adds up. <laughs> it definitely does. If you go get 10,000 views throughout your stream as you're trying to grind to affiliate, you know, you stream a lot of different days. Uh, that adds up. Like you get intro ads. It adds up. It's worth doing. And I, I think the number one biggest reason why, if you're a very small streamer, you should do this is because you can have a chance to get quality options, which just lets more people watch your stream. And I just recommend it. I want to talk about that in my hot take in a second. But if you guys are a starting streamer or you guys don't have Twitch affiliate yet, do this. It's smart. Get it done. Like, do it. Do it. Uh, so now that's kind of the end of the, I guess, introduction of the video of like how it is. Let me get through all some red hot takes up in your face. If you guys are just here to learn about how to do this, leave the video now. I'm going to rant, whatever. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. If you guys are here for some comments and some commentary and some people who want to leave some comments down below, this is your time to shine. Okay. So let me go and throw in a few different aspects here of why this is both good and why this is both bad. And you guys could agree or disagree. I would love to hear your opinions down below or on Twitter. I'll probably tweet this out. So number one, I think it's cool because it just gives people a chance to get affiliate in. You want to start streaming. You try it out. It's five bucks. It's not that much money to get in here. It's pretty easy. It's not too bad. I guess it's technically more so 10 bucks because you have to have it for at least 30 days. But it's not the worst. It's not the worst idea. I think it's kind of cool. 
you're probably going to spend more money on that on, say, Twitch subs or bits or whatever. Spotify subscription, Netflix subscription. If you're passionate about Twitch, I think it's cool. Like, why not? Fine. Go for it. Go for it. But my two concepts I think are kind of bad. You guys could agree or disagree. Is the fact that they have a somewhat of a paywall for people to get affiliate status on the website. I think that's really bad, in my opinion. Uh, more so on the fact that there are some content creators out there that I think are really good content creators that are maybe 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe just don't have the money, uh, don't have a debit card, credit card, PayPal to actually get it. And it kind of puts them at an uh, just an unfair advantage. And especially now during like a pandemic, spending $10 on a subscription is kind of a lot. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments might say, no, it's not. It's like an hour of work, even at like minimum wage. But if you have a family, you have all this other stuff, it does kind of add up. You could also have the counterpoint saying, well, they shouldn't be streaming. They should be doing a second job, which I kind of get to as well. But some people use streaming just for fun and, you know, whatever. It's fine. There's a lot of different counter arguments you can say, but just having a payroll, paywall for this is kind of bad. Think about YouTube. If you had a YouTube payroll to go get into YouTube partnership, that's kind of bad. Or uh, like... SoundCloud, you had to spend a lot of money to go get into that. That's bad. And more so, what happens if Twitch ever goes in the very, very extreme, which is probably never, ever going to happen. But what about in the very big extreme where you work with Verizon? Hey, you can get a Twitch partnership if you go sign up for a three-year contract on a brand new phone. And then you end up spending three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 to get Twitch partner. That will probably never happen. It just doesn't seem that smart. But there's always that chance. And when companies start adding weird paywalls into this, it can kind of lead into some really bad issues, at least in my honest opinion. Uh, I don't think it will ever get that bad because more so there's a lot of public backlash and bad PR when that happens. But there's always a chance. You never know. And unless people make comments on it or think it's weird, you're never going to know. Uh, number two is it does kind of stink that people now actually have a pay to win advantage on Twitch. And before you guys also, once again, type up a storm and whatever, if you are a brand new affiliate, Versus a brand new affiliate on Monster Cat Gold that now has Twitch affiliate, you are inherently at a very slight disadvantage. Granted, it's more about the content you make, but when you're that small, every little baby thing you can get helps. Uh, and typically, I think the number one biggest thing is the option for transcoders. Transcoders are very important because it allows more people to go and actually access and watch your stream. And if you do not have those, less people, especially maybe people on older computers or mobile phones, cannot watch your stream at a better quality. And I think that's the bigger thing. I think you definitely have a higher chance of getting uh, transcoders with affiliate status versus not. So that's, I think that's awful. That's really bad. Money is whatever. If you're that small of a streamer, you're not going to make that much money. If you don't even have 50 followers or an average of three viewers, you're not going to make that much money. Like, you know, it's, it's it's not the biggest deal. But more so about the potential to start up your career a little bit more is big. Because it's all for things like YouTube and Twitch, it's always exponential. The more viewers you get, the more viewers you're going to get. That's how it works. You're an XQC, you have 50,000 viewers, you're going to keep on getting more viewers because you have 50,000 viewers. If XQC had 500 viewers right now, you'd have a lot less traffic coming to his channel because he just doesn't have that initial push, which puts him on the very top of the directory and go from there. So even when you're a very small streamer, one viewer actually can make a world of difference or two viewers can make a world of difference. So it is a little bit dumb that there's a paywall behind it. I get it. I understand it. It's like marketing and all that. It's not the biggest deal. Even getting affiliates really kind of easy if you can still get it from getting the fi like 50 followers, 500 total minutes. This is not that hard. You just go and have some friends follow. Uh, you just go and stream a lot. You have your mom watch the other monitor. It's not a big deal. It's not that hard to go get. So uh, overall, I'm not sure how to feel about this in general. I really think the paywall thing is a little bit weird. I think if you are not a Twitch partner or not a Twitch affiliate already, either or, I would say go get it. Go buy it. It's worth it. Like, it's it's worth it for that little baby bump. Especially if you, because you also have music to go and play. It's it's worth it. It's fun. I personally would really like to see Twitch do more stuff like this. I know they've done that throughout the years where if you're a YouTuber, they want you to they either pay you or give you a good contract to move on over in stream. I really like this where basically SoundCloud has a chance to help you get Twitch affiliate and kind of fast track because this brings people over to your audience uh, or your audience over. So if you're a TikTok, you can bring over viewers and you get Twitch uh, affiliate. It makes it so you can make money. It's smart. Uh, I know throughout the years, if you have 5 million YouTube subs, they give you Twitch partner instantly just because you have a big audience that you can bring on over. It kind of incentivizes people to stream. I think it's smart. I think it's cool. I think it's a good idea.
But like I said, adding a paywall to affiliates really weird. Affiliates not that hard to go and get. But I do think a lot of people worked hard for it. I do think some people, and you guys may laugh because it's only 50 followers. But if you're brand new to the content creation scene, that's a lot. That's impressive. That's something you care about. Uh, I would care about when I, if I ever had a chance to get affiliate. I care about when I got partnered on Twitch. So at least in my opinion, it's weird. It's good to use if you have not already gotten affiliate, but I do kind of feel bad for some of the affiliates that are already out there that worked hard and grinded out for it, and they just can now buy it instead. It kind of takes away the sense of accomplishment and a sense of pride of actually getting it. But like I've mentioned a few times, it's not that hard. It's only 50 followers. It's kind of easy to get if you just kind of grind towards. If you have good content, it's not going to affect you anyway. And even if you have a part-time job, five bucks is awesome. That, that, not that much money, so it's not the worst. But I'm just kind of throwing some hot takes and kind of seeing if you guys have any different opinions or thoughts or want to chime in on some thoughts. I know Twitch is kind of in, uh, in a kind of a crazy spot because of all the DMCA issues and everything going on. But if you guys want to leave your comments, thoughts, and everything down below, feel free to leave like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. My Twitch stream will be down below because I'm mainly a Twitch streamer. I just do these YouTube videos for fun. If you guys want to follow or make comments or whatever, you guys are always welcome to. And as I mentioned throughout this video, if you guys are a smaller streamer or want to start streaming, do this first. Do this first. It's so much easier. It's so much better. And uh, yeah, like I said, leave all your comments down below. And thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for chilling.